Hello my lovely little morning doves. So today I am very excited to finally be showing you some things that I got from Etsy and um, one other uh, shop on the internet. I've been waiting for them all to come in so that I could re review them all at once and I'm really happy to say that everything I got was amazing so I'm really excited to share it with you. Uh, getting started, the first Etsy shop that I have to talk to you about is called Bloodbath. And I just came across them one day. Um, I'm always looking for new exciting goth uh, perfumes and linen sprays and anything that can make everything I own smell good because I'm a little bit obsessed with things that smell nice, especially around this time of year when everyone is coming out with delicious fall scents. Uh, so I found this really great place called Bloodbath. And um, they had a uh, perfume spray, linen spray kind of thing that caught my eye. And it wasn't a bad price, so I ordered it. I think it was about $10. So as you can see, this is the bottle. And it is called the Stench Reducer Body Spray. I'm really happy with the size of it. It's a good amount of product, especially for $10. And uh, this scent, Zombie Love, is a morbid version of Victoria's Secret Love Spell with fruity sweet notes of Italian bergamot, peach, strawberry, apple blossom, African tamarind, damask rose, tonka bean, coconut milk, and white musk. And it really uh, caught my eye because it said it was a uh, dupe for Love Spell, which is probably the only like name brand uh, perfume I've ever liked or used. And they are so spot on with this. It really is like Love Spell but a little bit muskier and a little bit creepier and just absolutely phenomenal. So if you like something that's a little bit more fruity and not quite as dark and um, I know a lot of more gothic fall scents are very heavy, dark, musky, smoky scents, um, but this one still kind of retains the kind of nice musky, creepy edge while also being really fresh and really fruity and just delicious smelling. So. That's the first one I had to show you. 10 out of 10 would buy again. I am going to look through their other stuff because their website also has all of their scents in shampoos and body washes and conditioners and all kinds of bath products and you can get all of their scents in most of the products and they all sound pretty amazing so I'm definitely going to be getting more from them. Um, I'll probably try some of their shampoo and conditioner when I run out of what I have now. So the next shop that I have to talk to you about is Deep Midnight Perfumes. Now if you've been here for a little while, I have actually reviewed them before when I bought um, a lot of samples of a bunch of their scents and I really liked them then. And my friend Haven, who you have also met on this channel, uh, was awesome and got me one of the ones that I had been uh, wanting for a while. It was on my wish list on Etsy. And uh, so I got that and two new um, sample scents to try out, which was really exciting because both of those were also on my wish list. So that was three new scents that I got to try from this amazing perfume company. So the first one that I got is called Corn Dolly. Now this is just one of the little sample sizes, but they really do last a long time because you only need just a little bit of it. Uh, and Corn Dolly is slightly earthy and slightly sweet, a unisex scent that tips to the feminine side of the scale. The main notes are sweet, burnt, corn husks, dried herbs, oak wood fire, amber, dried leaves, and background notes of clove and citrus. And it smells so nice. Let's see if I can get it open so I can... Oh yeah, it smells so good. It's such a nice, lovely fall scent. It's everything I could possibly want in a smell. It's, you know, that kind of husk, the husk of the corn and like herbal smell and leaves. It's very much like leaves and earth and just deliciousness. So really nice fall scent. I would definitely buy a full bottle of this maybe when I run out of this one. So the other sample that I got with the main gift that Haven got for me is called Wildwood and it is notes of pumpkin bread, incense, and resins, acorn, dried apple, and orange peels, and faint notes of a fading bonfire, an homage to all things comforting, warm, orange, and bright. And again, 
yeah, that one is just really, it definitely has more of a foody smell. You can definitely get the notes of like the bread and the apple and orange peels and acorns. It's got a very nutty, nutty and bready smell. But still like total autumnal like deliciousness. Like, oh, I'm just, I feel like mixing a lot of these two would just be absolutely fantastic. Like you could just mix all of them and you would just smell like autumn vomited all over you, not me, Autumn. That sounded really gross. It's like I vomited all over you. That's what I, that's what my vomit smells like. I don't know if I'm going to keep that in. That sounded nasty. Moving on. So the large scent that Haven got for me is called Spider Cider. And first of all, really happy with the size of these. I, this is the first time I've had um, a full-size bottle from Deep Midnight Perfumes, and it's a really good size, and it comes with a little roller ball top, so it just rolls on, which is really nice. And the notes of this are fresh apples, frankincense, clove, cinnamon, bark, and faint woods notes. If you love spices and crisp fall apples with a bit of earthy darkness, you will find the scent to be a great unisex autumn perfume. Oh, and it is. It's so good. It's so good. I think it might be my favorite one. So they're a really great shop, and everything I've smelled from them so far is just really accurate to the description and really lovely, and yeah, they're amazing. And they don't just do, like, fall scents or goth scents. They have winter collections, and they have a lot of other collections based on, I think, literature and TV shows and movies, so there's a lot of other things. I just happen to stick to the Halloween and fall collections because that's what I like. Uh, so if that's not really the kind of sense that you're into, I'm sure they have something for you as well, so you should definitely check them out. So the last shop that I have to talk about is called Beauty Undead, and I got these two liquid lipsticks from them. They had pretty good reviews, so I decided I would order a couple of things from them. Obviously I got black because I was almost out, and then they had this really gorgeous purple shimmery color. Um, I'll swatch it for you in the hopes that you can get a better idea of what that color is because it's really beautiful, kind of smoky, metallic, purple color. It's really cool. Um, but I've got to say, I am ridiculously impressed with these lipsticks. Like, there's a lot of product for the amount. They are really, really pigmented. Um, I ordered a couple of their darkest colors in the liquid lips, and both of them are just one swipe, full coverage, ridiculous pigment. And when they dry down, they dry down. I have had a lot of other liquid lipsticks that, while they are really long-lasting and really impressive and pigmented, they never completely dry down to, like, kiss-proof, you know? They don't, they don't become completely transfer-proof. Completely kiss proof. I am floored. My last black lip, which was really impressive as well, was really drying on the lips. Um, it was from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, and I really like them. I really like their black lipstick, but wearing it all day could really dry your lips out, and it was never completely transfer proof. If you touched it, you would always come off with a little bit of black on your finger, whereas this, like nothing. You might get the tiniest, yeah, I got the tiniest hint of an outline from the top of my lip, but nothing. Like, it does not come off. I'm so, so ridiculously impressed with this lipstick, and it doesn't feel drying on the lips at all. Like, it feels really light and really natural and moisturizing, and it just needs a little bit of, like, an oil-based makeup remover to take it off, or, like, a makeup wipe and it comes right off, no problem. So I'm just, I'm so impressed and I will definitely be buying more from Beauty Undead. Um, it was just really awesome. So the last thing that I have to talk to you about today are my eyes. Now again, the lighting in here is not great, so I don't know how well you can see, uh, but my eyes are red uh, and I am so, 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 so happy and 
excited to finally have red contacts. I've wanted some forever. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers, uh, especially It's Black Friday, talking about Pinky's Paradise. Uh, so I checked them out and it is a place in Malaysia. I think uh, they were shipped out of Kuala Lumpur, which is cool. Um, and they sell really affordable and really varied uh, colors and types of lenses and a lot of them do come in prescription going all the way up to I think like negative I think negative six or negative seven um, which is a pretty strong prescription uh, so I was able to find a pair of really beautiful red contacts that look fairly natural I was really surprised as well they're not super opaque they don't give me any um, like tunnel vision. I have a pair of white Manson lenses that are completely opaque and they look really nice and they sit really nice on the eye but they uh, give me tunnel vision because they're so opaque. But these blend naturally into the eye. They're so comfortable. They're circle lenses so they're a bit bigger than my normal iris size and they're just gorgeous. So I'm super super happy with them. Uh, for coming from Malaysia they came pretty fast. It took I, I think over a month but still it came pretty quickly. So they came with this contact case which is just absolutely adorable. So I was just floored by how awesome their stuff is and I will post some pictures after this or maybe maybe I'll finally figure out how to put a picture in the shot. Right here. Right here is where there's going to be a photo of me wearing these uh, where you will be able to more easily see the color of these contacts but overall I am super super happy with them. Mine are the, um, I think they're called Super Pinky Bright Red. I would definitely order more from them. They have a lot of really cool theatrical lenses that I am super interested in trying, but I decided to just get one to start with to make sure that they were comfortable and they were good, but I've been wearing them for hours and hours now and my eyes feel fine. It's just like wearing normal contacts. So I'm really really happy with that and I will definitely be ordering more. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any shops or anything that you think I should check out, absolutely let me know. Please give me suggestions about the 1000 subscriber video. I still plan on doing something for that and I want it to be something that was a suggestion. I think I've only gotten one suggestion so far and I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do everything. So tell me what you wanna see, it will happen. Also below will be links to all of the shops that I talked about in this video and all of my social media. So go give me a follow. I've got all the things and you know, you know the drill. Go do the stuff and the shit and whatever. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys are having an awesome week slash weekend, whatever it is. Bye. <laughs>